Hey, what's good guys? Today we're back at it. Today is day 24. So we're pretty much 20 days away from it. So it's time to pick it up, go a little harder, make sure we're pushing through. Uh, sorry I've been out for the last week. Pretty much I had a cyst under my arm, so I couldn't work out. I wanted to update y'all, but I just wanted to keep y'all going. Uh, so I'm back now with the videos. I will be catching up on some videos, the ones I missed out on. So I apologize for that. But we're here to get back on it today. If y'all need the workout video, here we go. So we're gonna get started. First workout of the day is jumping jacks just to get warmed up. You can see I'm outside and I'll show you my view. So this is pretty much all I'm working with right now. So we just get started. Like I said, first workout today, jumping jacks. We're gonna get warmed up. Then I'm gonna go straight into lunges, alternating. I'm gonna do 10 just to get my body uh, warmed up, get some blood flowing through my legs and upper body. So let's get it. All right, so that's my first set. We're repeating it three times. So just take your 30 second break in between sets, do it again, then we'll get the workout started. All right guys, so the first workout, I brought a little tool with me. As you notice, this is a 15 pound dumbbell. I'm gonna go with kettlebell swings. Uh, I'm doing a single arm, but I'm gonna do it alternate while I'm doing it. But if you can't do it alternating, it might be too hard for you. Just do one arm for now, all right? So don't try to alternate in the air. Um, that's if you more experienced, you can try it out. Don't hurt yourself, please. Don't let the kettlebell hit you in your knees or your toe or anything like that. So just be sure to control it. So I'm gonna do it both ways for you. I'm gonna show you my way first, alternating it, and then I'll show you the single arm way. All right, so the next workout we're going to is a med ball, uh, med ball slam burpee. If you don't have a uh, medicine ball, that's fine. You can go with a regular burpee. I got my kettlebell still, so I'm gonna use my kettlebell for demonstration, just in case. If you had a med ball, be sure to slam, do your burpee, come back up, lift overhead. But I'm gonna use the kettlebell, so I'm gonna show you my first set. Okay, I'm gonna do them, put both hands on here. And what I'm gonna do, hold my balance tight. I'm gonna step out, come up, and I'm gonna come over the kettlebell swing. Two, three. I did 10 right there. It's a little hard with my balance. If you want to try with the kettlebell swings, you can try it. But like I said, be safe. I rather for you go with the regular burpee or the med ball slams. <sighs> the next workout we're going to is a plank reach out. 
you want to make sure you're giving yourself the distance where you can actually stretch your arm out, reach, and touch that object. No matter if it's a kettlebell, a dumbbell, whatever you have in front of you. You can put a ball, you can put your backpack, a book, anything. Uh, just put it out in front of you where you stretch your arms all the way out, touch it, come back in, alternate, touch. So I'm going to go with my first set, show you. Make sure you keep your arms tight. Try not to throw out too much. Keep your core tight and just stay focused with the workout. So we're going straight to the next workout. It's a knee to a squat. Uh, what we're going to do is start on our knees, open up our hips, stay low, land up on our heels, and stay in a squat position, coming back down to our knees, alternating legs. So I'm going to hold the kettlebell up. You don't have to do it with a kettlebell if it's your first time. This exercise, uh, it hurts a little bit, so I admit that it hurts your lower back. Uh, well, it helps, it helps strengthen your lower back. Let me not say hurt your lower back. It helps strengthen, strengthen your lower back. Uh, so I'm going to do my first set, I'm going to show it to you. Stay low as possible when you do the squat. Make sure you bring your arms over your knees, try to touch your toes. Also make sure your back coming up off the ground. Then we're going straight. Hands by your side, part under your butt. Want to come in. Kick out. Nice and slow. Two. So them good two out workouts, I feel it in the lower abs and upper abs. Try it out. Like I say, day 24 is out the way. So I'm outside. I got a good sweat in. It's pretty much my second workout today. Uh, Cause the first one I short it, I had to cut it short this morning. So I'm back out here for some more. So just get the job done, man, push through it. If you're not in the mood, just wake up, eat something healthy a good source of carbs and protein and push yourself through it man it, it's, it's hard trying to do it when you don't feel like it but that's the main key it's just pushing through it staying through it getting it done and, and staying on track man stay consistent make every day count all right